Okay, so now we have two jars, jar 1 and jar 2. Jar 1 has five red balls and four green balls. Jar 2 has three red balls and one green ball. We're going to randomly select a jar. Both jars can be uh, selected with the same probability of half. And then a ball is randomly selected from the chosen jar. So I'm just going to use a tree diagram to illustrate this. So we're either going to choose jar 1 or jar 2. Because the probability that the jars or each jar is going to be chosen is the same, the probabilities are the same, each one's going to be just half. And then, so let's say that we chose jar 1. We selected it, then we're going to end up with a green or a red ball. If we chose jar 2, same thing, green or red ball. Now, the probability of selecting a green ball, if we chose jar 1, would be 4 out of 9 balls in total. But the probability of selecting a green ball from jar 2 is a little bit slimmer. It's just a quarter. A quarter is the probability of selecting one green ball from jar 2. And of course over here the probability of selecting a red ball from jar 1 is 5 out of 9 and from jar 2 is 3 out of 4. Great, so question A is pretty simple, straightforward. What is the probability? that a green ball is selected? Well, it depends, right? We can have two branches here. First branch is, well, half. So we have a 0.5% chance that we're selecting jar 1. And if that's the case, there's a 4 out of 9 probability that we'll select a green ball. And then we're going to add the second branch, because we're either going to select a green ball from jar 1 or a green ball from jar 2. And the probability here will be just half times quarter. Great. So 1 half times 4 out of 9 is going to work out to be 2 out of 9. And 1 half times a quarter is going to be 1 out of 8. Let me just quickly work this out on my calculator, just because I don't want to take too long for you guys. And that's going to work out to be 25 out of 72. So that is the probability that a green ball will be selected with this crazy experiment with jars and balls. All right, now this is about to get colorful. What is the probability, question B, that a green ball is selected given the jar 1 was the chosen jar? So the probability of green given jar 1. So that's the probability of selecting a green ball and selecting jar 1 over the probability of selecting jar 1. So that's not going to be too bad, right? The probability of selecting a green ball and jar 1 is just going to be 0 0.5 times 4 to 9. Let me be more consistent. I'm just going to put a half here. Half times 4 to 9, even though that's going to be the same, over the probability of selecting jar 1, which is just half. In this case, these guys are going to cancel out. So the probability of selecting a green ball, given that jar 1 was chosen, is just 4 out of 9. I guess that makes sense, right? Because then we don't look at jar 2 anymore in this case. We just look at jar 1. And there are 4 out of 9 balls, green balls. So that is the probability of selecting green ball. OK, now I hope I have room here for question C. Now, given 
that a green ball was selected, what is the probability that jar 1 was the chosen one? So this is backwards. What is the probability of jar 1 given a green ball was selected? Oh, wow. So that will be the probability of jar 1 and a green ball over the probability of selecting a green ball. So P, I, N, 1, N, G, probability of selecting jar 1 and a green ball, we already know it's going to be this, right? I'm just going to continue over here. It's just going to be half times 4 out of 9. Half times 4 out of 9, just this branch. But now we're going to divide everything by the probability of getting a green ball overall, which we already knew to be 25 out of 72. Great, so half times 4, to 4 over 9 is just 2 out of 9. And 2 out of 9 divided by 25 over 72 is just, sorry, I was using my calculator here, 16 out of 25. I just hope that this is not off balance here. Well, I'm just going to rewrite it over here in black maybe. So the answer for C is 16 out of 25 and that is the probability that jar 1 was selected given that a green ball is selected overall. That's it.